Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Suikoden 3. Alright, we are in Thomas's chapter, so let's uh, head on out of the uh, castle. Head over to uh, Mount Heito while I start on my timer, which I forgot to do last time. Alright, so. We've got uh, Mount Heito here, which you might remember has the uh, um, blue mantix. Uh, we're not going to be able to fight it, unfortunately. I'm not sure if getting attacked will awake um, Juan up. Yeah, there you go. See, he's asleep. It's just auto the blade bunnies. <laughs> kind of amused that he stands up and then flops over to sleep. I also spent our uh, um, skill points, except for uh, Piccolo's. Um, since Piccolo is a mage, it's best to just have him learn um, spell uh, uh, the you know whatever magic you want him to have equipped with and uh, chance speed, rather than any of the combat ones. Ah, good, only one damage. <laughs> And of course, it's a good idea not to have uh, Piccolo use any of his magic anytime soon. Not sure how much he has right now. Hey, there we go, he's awake. And he's berserk. He's not doing a whole lot of damage yet. I think the, the continual attack and uh, um, heavy damage skills are ones that will automatically appear as he levels up. Yeah, so he's got the, the four learnable skill swats. I gave him Swing and uh, the three um, other ones, which sometimes indicates that things will pop up there. That's one of the good things about uh, um, Thomas is that he can learn pretty much everything. Uh, I was thinking maybe I should have healed up Piccolo, but nah, probably not. I, I don't think I did it. Time to die, Blade Bunnies. Oh, come on. Well, at least uh, Juan is awake now. Oh, hey. Swap position. Nice. You know, Piccolo, I would think you would not want to uh, uh, hit enemies upside the head with that staff of yours. Yeah, I think we're okay on hit points right now. So, for the next part coming up, you want to be at least level 5. <clears throat> I think uh, anything lower than that, you probably are not going to have any real chance. Nice teleportation there, buddy. Jeez. He doesn't have, like, a blinking room. I'm not sure how he does that. Oh, I never looked at his mallet rune. Let's, uh... Oops. Rune. Mallet. Two times damage to one foe. Lose balance. Oh, okay. Let's just go ahead and auto. One more than I thought there was. Ah, they're all dead now, so. We got a figurine and a level up. It's probably just like a hex doll. Oh, come on, really? Well, this is just one blade bunny. Well, as long as Piccolo doesn't take any more damage, we're probably fine on, uh, health. Up until we get to, uh, close to the end of Mount Hato. I'm 
Not sure if they're going to be the same enemies that we fought before or not. I'm right by your side, Thomas. I'll protect you from everything. Tigers, monsters, bears, don't worry about a thing. Will this place really be that dangerous? Ho, ho, ho. The great fortune teller Piccolo is here with you. No need to worry. Sounds like you don't need my help with these two around. I'll just do what, what I have to then. Uh, have to, then leave. Well, that's kind of a... Kind of dickish there. So we're probably going to be able to pick the uh, herbs that are along here somewhere. I imagine that they've likely turned over. Nope, they have not. Wow. I'm I'm amazed. Shocked, really. Okay, what are we going to see? Oh, fur flies. Okay, well. <clears throat> basically the same kinds of things that we've been fighting before, then. Easy as pie. And probably another hex doll. Stupid hex dolls. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh, creepers. Not good. Not good. Well, this should go off first. Yeah. I uh, killed one. That's good, at least. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Good, it didn't. And he's awake now. What happened? Alright. Maybe it's different creepers that are in the other forest. Probably time for some medicine. Um. Oh, yeah. And what the heck, let's uh, go up. Go ahead and heal up, uh, um, Piccolo. So, one of the, um, aspects that you get on Thomas's chapter we'll, uh, take a look at shortly. Well, actually, two different aspects. Oh, yay, more fur flies. So much fun. They don't really look like flies to me. I mean, yes, they are levitating. They're not exactly flies. Just with the names. <laughs> oh, well, they're all dead. That's the important thing. Oh, yeah. No, there's another corpse up here. Uh, I was thinking about the the the, uh, the other path that I didn't take back there. It led to a corpse too. Um, I thought it was this one up here. Ah, uh, my memory is going. Let's try just autoing the them this time. Can you take it out? Nope, not quite. Oh, that's not fun. Ow. Well, you can kill him. Yeah, that's not helping so much, Piccolo. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up again. Because we have to. Because you people are terrible at your jobs. So, first of all, let's head up this way. Aha! Hi! Hey, B Blue Mantics! Run away! Run away! Yep, you can't fight the treasure boss just yet on Thomas's chapter. <laughs> what, what was that? Yeah, something a little too power. Oh, we're back here. Dang it! Stupid fur flies! Out of my way! 
I wouldn't mind so much if uh, battles were a little bit faster. They had to get all fancy with their uh, area of effect spells and stuff like that. Alright, so that's uh, point number one. Point number two over here. What? Oh, cruel world! Yeah, you can't loot corpses with Thomas. Ah. You also noticed that there was no pouch there to pick up either. <laughs> so I guess in uh, Thomas's chapter, there is no person wandering around placing these pouches near corpses. I like how the, the Z Z's of uh, Juan were just there across the screen. Oh! So, what you saw right there was, uh, um, uh, Thomas got his sword stuck in the ground. That means you did double damage with the, uh, uh combo. Very nice. It's kind of like the opposite of, uh, what you got with, uh, Alden Nanami in, uh, Suikoden 2. Silly Nanami. Taking tea while all does the fighting for you. I don't think there's... I, I think it's completely random. I don't think there's anything you can do to get... Uh, um, it to happen more often. Hello. Pick mid blossom herbs. Uh, let's not. Wait till they're lush. Let's go ahead and save the game. Because we should. It's taking a really long time there, game. Did I heal? Do I need to heal? I do not need to heal. Woohoo! Fantastic. Good times. I believe it is over here. Oh. Well, this is just one creeper. Luckily, they can take it out. So I remember what I said in, I believe it was, uh, um, Ghetto's chapter. Ah! What? Wah! Yeah, that's, uh, not really a tiger there. Oh boy, that boar looks pretty upset. So you just run up there and kick it in its butt. Come on, over here, over here, I'll deal with you. Well, actually, uh... You've got a spear that works well enough as a boar spear there, Cecile. I'll deal with it! Uh... I'll help! Okay, so we have a boss, Wild Boar! Go ahead and do best effort. And we will have Piccolo use lightning. Oh, he has Soaring Bolt already? Oh, that's probably... Okay, that's... Mm. It'd be better to... Uh, you, know, you know what? Mallet. We'll just mallet it. Probably take too long to cast the spell. Range of nine... It's a seal defense. I think that's the shield defense, which I did actually boost up on her. I'm not sure if I've ever used this. What? Did you just become super sa- You did. You became a giant. And you did one point of damage. Wow, that's... 
That's pretty crazy. Seven damage. Come on, attack. Never mind. I was going to say attack uh, Juan, but uh, I guess it wasn't really necessary. And yeah, we got a figurine. All right, we won. We won. Yay! Uh... Sorry if I scared you. You okay? I was really scared. Really scared. I got so lost. I shouldn't have told you that strange story. I'm glad we found you. Time to go home. Ho, 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 ho. And now we get to walk out of here. Yay, walking out of here. So yeah, we are considerably over-leveled for what we need to be to take him. Uh, it definitely also helps to have uh, sharpened your weapons at least a little bit. I don't think I ever sharpened Juan's weapon now that I think about it. Oh well. Yeah, we're ignoring you, Herb. <clears throat> Alright, monsters, you can just stay away from me now. Uh, I like how we're doing uh, with this right set right now. Just keep staying away from me. Dang it! Why didn't you listen to me? So yeah, totally over level. Totally over level. I think the first time I played, I did have trouble with that thought, with that uh, battle. Probably because I didn't uh, sharpen any weapons and I didn't level up very much. And another figurine, probably a hex doll. Stupid hex dolls. Stupid herb that I can't pick. Should totally be pickable. Oh god, another screen. I forgot. And then we have to go back through the planes. Ah, uh, no. Pretty soon, though, we should be able to start recruiting people. I think we have to get to the point where uh, Ghetto's team shows up before we can do that. Which I think is going to be coming up pretty soon. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why uh, people hate this... Or, well, some people don't like... I shouldn't say hate, I suppose. Um these chapters uh, for Thomas is because you do tend to be, you're, you're level one. I mean, you start out at level one. You have to really build up money and uh, um, uh, stuff like that to uh, uh, become reasonable. And you only, at the point where, where you want to start doing that, you've only got the two characters. And Thomas has a tendency to die a lot. Oh! Well, hello, Rare Encounter. We can probably take you, Arachnivore. Um, can we do best effort on the Arachnivore? Yes, we can. Can we do lightning on... Oh, that's going to take forever. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. The Arachnivore is a dangerous one anyway. This might actually kill it. And it did! Are you gonna go after... Yeah, you're going after him. Ah, boo. Alright, well, we'll just murder you all. And only Cecile leveled up. That's a little sad. We didn't get any items either. Oh, man. That's disappointing. Uh, how are we doing on hit points? 
The wand could probably use it. Just to be on the safe side. Oh no, a blade bunny. So terrified. Come on, Thomas. You can do it. Ooh, times two damage. Nice. Good times, good times. Probably should have cut this part out of the video, but... Oh, well, then you wouldn't have seen me kill the Arachnivore, would you? It's kind of funny how Thomas and Cecile are just totally dominating everything now. Ah, the joys of having lots of money. Hmm. That's kind of how real life goes, isn't it? Okay. You know, I was thinking a while back that I should try to do Sebastian from The Little Mermaid's voice for Sebastian here, but I can't do that fake French accent. Mommy! Oh, Thomas, thank goodness you're safe, my little man. It was a lucky day, a happy ending, my favorite kind. Second only to sad endings where everyone dies. Thank you so much, I owe you a lot. So, Thomas, who is your favorite Gundam director? I like Tomino myself. Because everyone always dies. You're weird, Cecile. Uh, well... <clears throat> Thomas, what do you say th to these nice people? Don't be shy. Did you know the Castle Master's name is Thomas too? Wow, your name is Thomas too? Was your daddy's name Thomas? That's right. I'm glad you're safe and sound. Your mother was so worried. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. I'm so grateful to you. You're the master of the castle here? But you're like a kid. That's right. Now run along home with your mother. It's time both of you got a good night's sleep. Say thank you, Thomas. I want you to grow up to be just as great as Thomas the Castle Master. Y you're not really, uh, uh... You, you don't really have many ambitions for me, do you, Mom? Okay. Well then, please excuse us. I really appreciate what you did for us. Take care going home. Thank you. What a relief, huh, Thomas? Most auspicious indeed. I can rest a lot easier now, for sure. So they want him to be as great as me, huh? Pretty neat. Although not very ambitious. Yeah, it's not like you really... Well, okay. Wouldn't have been able to do the combo attack without you. <sighs> what can I do today? I haven't really done anything this whole last week. Other than save a kid and go up lots of levels and win the lottery and stuff. But yeah, not nothing. Didn't do anything. I actually need to go cash in some more lotto tickets. I hope I'm going to do that without getting interrupted by anything, but I suspect I'm going to be interrupted by something. Nope, maybe not. Sweet. Uh-oh. What's happening? I don't feel very good. What's the problem? I'm kind of depressed. I haven't had any customers in weeks. Well, other than you. You've been master of the castle for a while now. Can't you do something to help? Gee, I, what if I could? Have you got any idea? Have you got any ideas? What can I do? That's your job, not mine. What's wrong with today's youth? 
kids today are so lazy. I I'm sorry. Ugh, these kids today. Dang it! I want to cash in my lotto tickets. Cecile, you, you know how I feel, right? Huh? Mr. Sebastian? I haven't seen him today. Do you need him? No, I'm just bored. There's nothing for me to do here. Would you like to do some combat training with me? I'll get your heart pumping. Uh, n no, no thanks. Maybe another time, okay? I see. You are a really weird kid, Cecile. Ho ho ho, Sebastian, let me think. I'd really like to find him. Let me use my fortune-telling skills. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's drunk. Nope, I can't figure it out. I see. What's wrong? Something bothering you? I just figured he'd know what I should be doing as Castle Master. Ho, 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 such initiative. I wouldn't worry about it that much. If you say so, sir. Don't work yourself to exhaustion. Uh, I don't plan to do that. It's always a good idea to get out while the getting's good. It's been weeks, you're still saying that! How amazed can you actually be now? <laughs> Whoa, I, I like totally have amnesia. Ter no short term memory. Those technically are not the same thing, but... I reconsidered in mid-thought, so... Yeah, what can you do? Oh, Sebastian! Sebastian! Alright, Juan, what can I do? Sebastian? I don't know. Don't you have any idea where he could be? Juan? He fell asleep, didn't he? Juan! Huh. <sighs> Just like him. Uh, I want to go into his house. He's a pretty nice house, really. You think about it. Alright, let's see. Where am I supposed to actually go? Um. Ah, okay. Not into the corner, Thomas. Not into the corner. Yeah, just going back to the main house and, uh. Should find him. There's a really annoying gnat on my computer screen. Stupid insects. There we go. Take two steps. Excellent. Mr. Sebastian! Well, well, Thomas. How are you doing today? I have to talk to you. Where have you been? I was looking for you. Oh, uh, well, I was, uh... What's the matter? I'm very sorry. The castle's treasury is almost empty. I've been working on the books, but things just don't add up very nicely. I've been selling some of the valuables, with permission, of course, but it still isn't helping. Uh, whose permission? So all this time you've been working on the books? Yes, without much success. Have you got any ideas? Hmm, I guess if we don't have anything... We don't have anything. If we don't have anything, then we can't maintain the castle. We'd run out of food, and that would be the end of it. We'll have to let Muto, Juan, and Cecile go. We can't afford them. Oh no, you're not going to send them away. Unless you have some other things that I could sell. Uh, wait a minute, Mr. Sebastian. Can you gather everyone in the courtyard? <clears throat> uh, sure.
Is everyone here? I don't see Juan yet. Typical... Please hear me out, everyone. We don't have enough money to maintain the castle. We can't afford to fix all the leaks, cracks, and rotten timbers. Not only that, but at this rate, we won't be able to pay help. And we'll soon run out of food, too. What? Alright, that was a terrible voice for him. Oh no, just when I got my official title! What, Sebastian? What have you done? I'm very sorry about this. I've tried my best to make ends meet. We're not here to cast blame. We have to put our heads together and come up with a solution to this problem. Before now, I lived a normal life. Where I got up in the morning, ate breakfast, worked, cleaned, and slept. Then suddenly, I became the master of this castle. I don't have a clue about what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, way to instill confidence in your subjects there, uh, Thomas. So I'm asking you all to tell me what it, what it is I'm supposed to do. I beg you. No, no, the master of the castle shouldn't bow his head to the people. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. What is it, Cecile? When I was a child, this place was crammed with stores and colorful decorations. People came here from all around to shop. Money flowed freely and good times were had by all. I think we should open up lots of stores here. Open stores? But how? That takes money we don't have. That's not all. We'd need permission from the council for such a venture. They'd never agree. What do you mean? I don't know very much about Zexen. The Zexen Federation began as an, as an alliance of merchant guilds. The council, which is the highest government authority in Zexen, was made up of members chosen by the Master Guild, the most powerful merchant guild in the land. The fussy council has to approve every single store opening, and it takes hefty bribes to convince them. How could we do that? Clearly, they are in need of some regulation reform. Hmm... All right, I understand. Do you see a solution, too? Here's what we'll do. Instead of opening businesses ourselves, we'll lease the land to people and let them open the stores. We've got plenty of room. They often did this in the northern outlands where I came from. W what? We won't be able to get the approval of the council. How could we get away with it? Our first priority is to keep food on the table. We'll deal with the council later. Well, then, will I be able to stay here? <laughs> yes, if everyone works together towards the same end, we can save the castle and everyone's jobs. Ho, 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 well said. Splendid. Oh, wait a minute, Thomas. You can't make promises like that. You don't know the council. What's so important about the council when we're not even officially in Zexan territory? Uh... You young folks don't know your history. This land is jointly controlled by, by, by both Zexan and Grassland. When I was young, things were peaceful between Zexan and Grassland. This was an important landing for the Grassland's pastoral people, and was open to Zexans, too. That's why a Grasslander like me was allowed to do business here. This is making sense. I'm not even sure what, tri what tribe she's supposed to be from. Same thing for Piccolo. I think Piccolo is a Grasslander. I is that true? He might not be, though. Of course it is. You should do. You should go look around your room, Thomas. I'm sure there's a record somewhere. Huh, I, I've never found such documents. Well, let's take a quick chat with everyone. There's a record. You don't say. Oh, this could turn out just fine. Nope, didn't want to talk to you. With a record of this, the council can't come near us. Just try and find something here. It's a mess! Um, maybe we should have you store it then. I, I would assume you're pretty good at finding things that you store. I think you should start by looking in your room. And we'll do that in the next episode. See you then, everyone.